Hello friends, this is Callie. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have a really fun and sweet card to share with you using the Happy Hug set by Lawn Fawn. I'm also pairing it with some Thought Bubbles dies, which we'll get into later. Right now we're gonna start by stamping the images and there's not a whole lot to this card to color so that's always a bonus for me. I've got the two images that I want to use and I've stamped them using my Misty tool. I'm gonna use some Copics to color quickly here. I'm sorry that it's a little bit blurry at first. My hands kind of get in the way and I have to adjust them a little bit so that the camera doesn't lose its focus. As always, I'm gonna start with the darkest color first. Usually I like to add my shading at the very bottom as if light was shining from the top, but this time I just decided to make it quick and easy by outlining the entire image, or almost the entire image, with the darkest color then adding a medium and a lighter shade, and then maybe even a fourth shade to blend everything out. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off with the bunny here using some grays. I wanted to change it up from the browns. I'm gonna finish off by adding some pink for blush and some pink to his ears, and then I'll die cut them and set everything aside to work on my background. We're sort of making two miniature scenes today, uh, one for the large thought bubble and one for the background of the card. So on the background of the card, I'm using a full white panel. I've got some Salvage Patina Distress Oxide ink here and I'm just gonna ink some clouds on using the cloudy stencil. I like to flip my lid over and work the ink into my bristles of my brush. That way I don't have a big mess to clean up and then I can just flip the lid over right onto the pad to close the case and then be done with that color and not have to worry about any cleanup. I'm gonna work my way down the panel and rotate my stencil 90 degrees every time I'm done with the previous layer. And when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and set it aside and work on a second sky or background for my larger thought bubble that's gonna go on to the top of this card. And it'll cover a lot of it up, but at least you'll have an interesting background. Now for the thought bubble, I just have a piece of paper here that's big enough to die cut that thought bubble from. And I'm using a darker color because I want it to stand out more than the last, since this is gonna be right over that last cloudy background stencil. And since it's a smaller area, I just ink blended the entire thing. And this is Peacock Feathers. I wanted to add some interest, so I did splatter it with some water using my spray bottle. I have the Watercolor Wishes Petite Paper Pack now, and I'm just gonna choose a green piece from it, and I'm gonna die cut two pieces of grass using the Grassy Border die. I have two strips to ink blend here. I'm using Mowed Lawn Distress Oxide ink. I'm just gonna add some darker shading at the top of these grass blades, and I'll do that to both of them even though I only show it once. This first one is gonna go over that cloudy border that we stenciled, I use the largest outside in stitched rectangle die to add a stitching detail all around the border. And then I do the same thing to that second smaller scene using an outside in stitched thought bubble stackables die. Then to make it a little bit more interesting, I use the stitched thought bubble frames and I'm gonna frame that in using this pixie dust sparkle cardstock. This cardstock is so pretty and I thought it would be perfect for the frame on this thought bubble. I also die cut the thought bubble tail using that pixie dust sparkle cardstock as well. And when I was done doing that, I began constructing my background by adhering my little squirrel and the grass panel down using some foam adhesive. When that was done, I can go ahead and do the same to my bubble. And I'm gonna adhere that grass panel down and then add my frame over top. I wanted the frame to have some more dimension on it, so I'm using strips of foam tape. And if I peel off the backing, I can easily mold it to the shape of the thought bubble. So that's what I'm doing. Once I've gone around my entire thought bubble with foam adhesive, I'll go ahead and adhere that right over my thought bubble scene. And I'll attach some foam tape to my hugging friends and attach that to the scene and that portion of my card is done. So I can go ahead and add some adhesive to the back and adhere this directly to my card. Next, I'll be working on my thought bubble tail. It's three little rings connected. And again, I cut one layer of it using the Pixie Dust Sparkle cardstock. And I've die cut five more white cardstock thought bubble tails so that I can stack them to adhere for some matching dimension to my current thought bubble. So I've cut off the top of the bubble where it overhangs and overlaps into that bigger thought bubble. 
And once they're all adhered together, we can go ahead and adhere that to the card and you can see where it attaches itself to the frame of the larger thought bubble just perfectly because of the dimension that we've added to that. Okay, so our scene is done and we're gonna be working on our sentiment now. I pulled out a pink panel from the same Watercolor Wishes Petite Paper Pack. I'm using the Oliver Stitched ABC's dies to die cut the word hug. I used my scissors to trim this panel down to a workable size, and I'm gonna use Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide Ink to ink blend just halfway up this panel so that when I die cut my letters, there will be a nice ombre fade. The purpose of this is I wanted to use this sentiment that says can't wait to hug you. I really wanted to highlight the word hug. So I've gone ahead and saved some time by embossing this off camera. I'm going to cut off that word hug so that I can use the die cut word in its place. I've added foam adhesive to the back of my word hug and I'm going to use my T-ruler to make sure that that's lined up across my card. And once that's in place, I can go ahead and adhere the other parts of the sentiment, the can't wait to, and the you. And we're done with the sentiments, so we can go ahead and adhere this entire panel to a card base. Last but not least, I like to save this part for last because I don't like it when it smears. So I'm adding some white gel highlights to the very end to finish my card. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribed if you're not already a subscriber. I've got two more videos to share with you if you're interested in seeing more. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Bye, everyone.